Hey friends, Liz here with Poem Phil. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I am going to give you some tough love because I'm getting so many messages coming in about, hey, do you cook two meals for every meal for your husband and for you? Come along. I get the question so much on YouTube and Instagram when they see my meals. Then you see next that I have a husband and you're like, does he eat this way? And my answer is no. And then the next question is, how do you manage it? What do you do? What, like, how, how does this all work? And I have to say, that I literally do make two meals, one for me and one for him, every single meal. He eats three times a day, he does not skip a meal. <laughs> you know me, I'm usually two big meals a day, so a lot of the times he's just on his own for breakfast and lunch, but I've already pre-made the meals on the weekend. And then, you know, my meals, I just put them together because I do some batch cooking. I have my vegetables, my fruit, all that already ready to go. So when I'm hungry, I dish up into my 50-50 dish and it's delicious. So here's the thing. For me, I like to batch maybe potatoes or a casserole or something on the weekend, a soup, love, love soups. And then I just cut all of my vegetables so that they are ready to go unless they're already frozen. I love frozen rice from Trader Joe's right now. So that's kind of how I go about making sure that I have food ready and available to me when I am ready to eat. For my husband, I make him a big egg casserole for the whole entire week, which he loves, and he can just grab it and go. So I make that ahead of time. And then for lunch, he's usually on the go. So I make different kinds of meats for him to be able to put into a bun or something like that. And then dinner is when we actually sit down and have our meals together. And that's when I make a hot meal. So whether that be whatever I'm eating. So here's the key. When it comes to dinner, we eat together. He's gonna have his vegetable and he's going to have his starch because those are the two things that I'm having. And then I just add in a protein for him so that I'm actually that third meal of the day, I'm not having to work and do a ton extra besides maybe prepping the protein or cooking the protein or whatever that looks like. But if you have a significant other in the house and doesn't eat this way, think about what veggie and what starch are you going to have? And you are going to prepare that exact meal for your significant other and then add in a protein if they need the protein. And maybe you start minusing out the portion of the protein to be smaller and smaller and smaller. Or maybe you go with some beans and your significant other would enjoy the beans in a burrito bowl or something like that. But here's the thing. It can be challenging, but you have to get into a momentum that works for you. And that is how I've been able to simplify this whole process of cooking multiple meals for my husband and for me. And you just have to get into a rhythm of what works because you, know, you also don't wanna be tempted with the way your significant other is eating if you have goals for yourself or you just want to live a healthy and vibrant lifestyle. And, you know, each their own. My husband has eaten this way before um, during my journey, but it just didn't satisfy him in the way he needed. And so, okay, done. We're going back to how he wants to eat and he gets to decide his health and fitness goals but I know what mine are. Mine are that starch and that veggie, and so that's how I build my dish, 50-50. 50% starches, 
50% vegetables, and then my significant other or yours, you can add in any type of protein that you would like. So that's where that third meal is not that challenging because I'm already building the dish that way. I'm just adding in one more thing for him. So I hope that this is helpful just to kind of process around how do you do this? Maybe your significant other just has cereal or maybe likes oatmeal. Maybe you could incorporate another meal that you make for yourself into their meal. There's so many unique ways to go about this. Maybe at least one meal a day is the starch and the veg for the significant other and start transitioning if they feel like they want to. But I have learned over time, it is not worth trying to make it work. We each have to make our own choices for what we feel health and wellness is to ourselves. And I'm not in a place to judge anyone for the way that they eat. That is not how I live. Anybody can eat the way they want to eat because I want them to respect the way I eat. And so I am not going to project that out because I don't want that to come back on to me about saying, where's your protein? You're not eating enough food. All the questions that we get as plant-based eaters, I don't want it coming to me, so I also don't project that onto other people. But at the same time, it's just important to go with the flow and you know accept people for how they want to eat and love on them and show them through you how your body can change, how you can evolve as a person, and maybe just them seeing that, they will want to eat like you. Hmm. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe that's something that you could focus on if you're really trying to transition your significant other, your roommate, anybody that's important to you in your life. It all goes around delivery and how you view it and how they will view it because I've worked with a lot of clients and they start eating this way, their body starts changing, their significant other sees them and goes, hey, I wanna do what you're doing and you can slowly transition. So, so many unique ways to just keep you on track and not have interruptions come in your life for your goals. So stick to what you know and just adjust and find routines and how it can work for you in your household. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Thank you for being here. Giving you that tough love was really important to me. So if you enjoyed this type of video, I would love a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this coming your way.